Hello fellow YouTube crocheters, my name is Catalina and on behalf of Colorful.com uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work uh, the Catherine wheel stitch. I have promised uh, this tutorial for over a year now and I thought it was about time I should make it. So here it is as promised guys. Um, I have here the material I'm going to use for this um, particular pattern. So there are two shades of grey that I'm going to use because we're going to need to change colors. This is just uh, some yarn I bought from the local shop. This is the information. And also this is the crochet hook I'm going to use. It is a bamboo crochet hook size 5 millimeters European size and of course uh, a scissor because we're going to have to cut the yarn when we're changing color. As you're probably used by now I usually make an example beforehand so I can show you guys what we are going to work on and this is the sample of the Catherine wheel stitch I made. The Catherine wheel stitch is uh, worked in sets of 12 plus uh, two extra chains to complete the pattern and um, for this uh, pattern you will need to know how to work the foundation chain how to work the single crochet stitch and how to work the triple crochet stitch. So in, in case you don't know how to make this, I'm going to be posting uh, links to my tutorials to all these, uh, to, to all the three stitches mentioned. For my example, I'm going to try to work, I'm going to work three full, just like this one, three full Catherine wheels, so therefore 12 multiply by, multiply by 3 plus 2 extra chains. That gives us 38 chains for the foundation chain, which I already completed. So I hope you have completed your foundation chain. And we are going to work... Uh, our stitches in this loop on top. That's right there. And skip the first chain, which is that one right there. And in the next chain, in the next loop, right there, work one single crochet. Now skip five chains of the foundation chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. And that's the six right there. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And in this sixth chain, work nine triple crochets. If you don't know how to work the triple crochet. Again, I'm posting a link to the triple crochet tutorial so you can learn how to make it. But yarn over your hook twice. Insert the hook in that chain. And work your first triple crochet in that chain. So that's the first triple crochet. So eight more to go. Yarn over your hook twice again. Insert your hook through the loop. Run, uh, yarn over your hook again. Pull through that loop. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. Yarn over again. Pull through two loops and through the remaining loops on the hook. I'm going to work the next seven triple crochet in silence so you can follow along.
was the sixth one. Three more to go. That was the nine triple crochet. But just to be sure, to be on the safe side, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. See this uh, this chain we worked the nine crochet, nine and triple crochets in, got just a little bit too large. So you might want to. Pull the foundation chain just a little bit, just like that. And let's continue. We're going to skip five chains now from the foundation chain. Be careful to when counting them. So that's one, two, three four and five and that's the sixth one let's count them again one two three four five just to be on the safe side again and in that sixth chain we're going to work a single crochet in the loop uh, on top we have just completed uh, half of a Catherine wheel. This is where we crocheted our single crochet stitch and we're going to skip five more chains from the foundation chain. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the sixth one. Again let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And in this sixth chain right there we're going to work nine triple crochets again. So wrap the yarn twice around your hook, insert your hook under the top loop, wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through that loop and complete your first triple crochet of the second set of nine triple crochet. That's how it looks like. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can have a close up of the second half of the Catherine wheel stitch on the first row. So, eight more to go. I'm going to work them in silence and let's meet up when we finish. When we finish this set, I mean. We're working the eighth triple crochet. And nine. 
and again the chain we worked uh, the second set uh, got just a little bit too large so just pull the foundation chain like that a little bit and this is how it looks like so far skip five chains from the foundation chain one two three four five and in this one two three four five in that chain work one single crochet now we're going to work our third half of the catherine wheel so skip one two three four five and in this sixth we're going to work the nine triple crochet but i'm going to do that off camera so you can continue working along and um, we're going to meet up uh, again after i have completed nine triple crochet in that chain I have completed the last set of nine triple crochets and hope you did as well. And this is how it looks like. So as you have noticed by now, there are six remaining chains of the foundation chain. One, two, three, four, five, and that's the sixth one. And we're going to finish uh, row one by working one single crochet right there so just insert your hook under the top loop and work one single crochet just like that and we finished first row of the Catherine wheel these are half uh, half of the wheels. On the, on the uh, next uh, two rows, second and third row, we're going to work full Catherine wheels. We're going to have to change our color now, so grab your scissors, just cut the yarn somewhere there. And uh, we should secure this. Just uh, wrap the yarn over your hook and pull the yarn through and secure it. And that uh, that completes the first uh, row. So now we are going to start working on our second row by changing the color. Just to have a quick look on what we're going to work next. Let's look at my, uh, my example. And that's the second row as you can see. That's uh, the first thing we're going to do. That's a quarter of the Catherine wheel. Then we're going to work half and then another half and uh, then another quarter. Grab your second color and uh, work a slip knot. And uh, now we're going to attach uh, the collar uh, by slip stitching it into the single crochet at the end of uh, row, uh, first row. So just insert your hook in the single crochet, grab the yarn. I hate all these uh, little strands of yarn and I'm going to show you what I prefer doing with it. So 
wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through and pull through okay and that uh, and you just attached the new collar uh, for the second row and now what I prefer to do instead of just leaving these little bits on the edges and then I have to hide them and stuff like that which is something I'm not very fond of I hate having all these uh, strands at the edges so what I prefer doing is just I, I take them away and I'm going to hide them while working so we're going to have to work one single crochet in that single crochet we just uh, attached our collar to so put your hook under the two, yeah, insert your hook in that single crochet, pull the yarn through under the two strands, yeah, and crochet a uh, single crochet stitch, and that's how you begin hiding the two strands. See, just like that. Let's continue working the third, uh, the second row, the chaining five after the single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, we're going to work uh, four triple crochet in the next four stitches on top of the next four stitches. So in that, that third and fourth we're going to work four triple crochets together so we're going to leave the last loop of the triple crochet on our hook while also trying to hide these two strands of yarn so wrap the yarn over your hook twice Insert the hook in the next stitch. Wrap the yarn over, pull through, through, and pull the yarn through once more and leave that loop on the hook. And we're going to do this three times. the second time while hiding those strands so start working your third triple crochet in the next stitch and one more time and we are completing very soon we're going to complete um, a quarter of the Catherine wheel. So we have uh, completed the four triple crochets. We have five loops on our hook. Now wrap the yarn over and uh, pull the yarn through all five loops. Be careful not to miss any of them. And now chain one to secure and chain five. Four and five. And in the next triple crochet, which uh, if you're going to count is the fifth one right in the middle so if you count one two three four that's the fifth one or even on the other side one two three four so right in the middle of the half uh, of the wheel from the previous row we're going to work one single crochet so insert your hook under the two loops 
pull the yarn through and work one single crochet. And this completes a quarter of the wheel, chain five, three, four and five. And we're going to work nine triple crochets in the next nine stitches, leaving the last loop of each triple crochet on the hook. So wrap the yarn over your hook twice, insert your hook right there in the next stitch, and start working the first triple crochet. Leave that loop on the hook and work the second one I'm going to zoom in just a little so you can have a better look so continue working the third one four loops. The fifth triple crochet, uh, the fourth, sorry, the fourth uh, triple crochet is working that stitch right there. And the fifth triple crochet is always going to be worked in the single crochet from the previous row. So if uh, you're counting and you're not doing the fifth one in that single crochet, then there must be something wrong with your project and you've probably skipped a triple crochet somewhere or something like that. So that's the fifth. Just be careful not to um, mess up your loops on the on the hook. Work the sixth one. Seven in the next stitch. and nine and leave the last loop on the hook and we should have ten loops on our hook so let's count them just in case two, four, six, eight, ten. So they are all there. And now this is the hard part. Wrap the yarn over your hook and pull that yarn through all those ten loops right there. And now chain one to secure the half of the wheel. And this is the chain right there. We're going to work uh, the other half of the wheel on the next row. So keep that in mind when you when uh, when we go to that one to the next row. Now chain 5 again. 1 2 three, four, and five, and in the next stitch, which is the fifth one. If you're counting again, just like in the previous one, see, there. that's one there, second, third, fourth, and this is the fifth one. 
So we're always going to work a single crochet in the middle of one of the half of the wheels. And in this space right here, we're going to do the same. So, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and work nine triple crochets in the next nine stitches. So, one, two, three, four. The fifth one is in the single crochet, six, seven, eight, and that's the ninth one. And uh, leaving the last loop on the hook, I've done my nine uh, triple crochets uh, off camera because that was just a repeat of what we've done before. So I have my nine, my ten loops on the hook, sorry. There are nine loops plus this one right there, that's the tenth loop. And now we're going to wrap the yarn over and pull through all those 10 loops, being careful not to skip any one or any of them. Now chain one to secure. So one, two, three, four, and five and work one single crochet in the next um, in the next uh, stitch which is again the fifth stitch as you can see we are finishing off our second row now so chain five one two, three, four, and five, and we're going to work five triple crochets in the next five, uh, five uh, stitches. The fifth one is the single crochet at the beginning of the uh, first row. Remember, we done, we've done a single crochet when we first started the project, so that's where we're going to work the last uh, uh, of the five uh, of the set of the five triple crochet so just like we've done before work five triple crochets leaving the last loop on the hook and at the end we're going to have six loops on the hook so that's two Three, that's the fourth, and the fifth, which is again worked in that single crochet. So insert your hook right there in the single crochet and finish the triple crochet. We have six loops on the hook right now and we're going to finish it and chain one to secure it. And this this uh, quarter of a wheel will match the first one. We've done only four triple crochets here but the chain five at the beginning of the row counts as a triple crochet so there are five here and five on on this side and uh, we're going to continue now to row three I'm just taking uh, my project my uh, my example so I can show you how work th uh, row three is done so we just finished this row now the pink one we're going to work this other one, the third one. So this is how it is going to look like. 
we're still here though on second row because to turn to next row we have to chain five so one two three four and five and now turn on the other side and here we're going to work uh, four triple crochets there in that joining chain let me zoom in so you can see exactly the chain we're going to work our four triple crochets in that's the one right there this time we're going to work four normal triple crochets without any without leaving any loops on the hook so go ahead wrap the yarn over twice insert your hook in that chain and finish your first triple crochet and second one third and the last one And that completes the other quarter of the wheel. So now we're going to work a single crochet in that single crochet right there from the previous row. So insert your hook in the single crochet, wrap the yarn over, pull through and just work one single crochet. And this now creates half of the wheel at the edge, just like that. To match what we've done on the previous row, so there were nine triple crochets here, we will have to work nine triple crochets in that, in that uh, joining uh, chain right there. Wrap the yarn over twice, insert your hook in that chain, wrap the yarn over your hook just like that, pull the yarn through, and work one triple crochet. So that's one And we have nine more. Uh, we have seven more to go right now. So that's two. Three. There's an airplane flying around, so if you hear that, sorry. So, five, four more to go. Six. Seven. Eight and nine. And now 
work another single crochet in the next uh, single crochet from the previous row. This completes a full Catherine wheel. On uh, second and third row. And here we're going to complete our second wheel and we're going to do so following the same instru instructions as uh, as on as here. So work nine triple crochets, crochet stitches in that stitch right there. And I'm going to meet you guys um, just about here, I think. So see you in a minute. I completed my uh, nine triple, triple crochets uh, off camera, so I hope uh, you have done the same as well. If not, take your time. I have also worked one single crochet in the next single crochet, so you do that as well. And now we're going to finish the row by working five triple crochets in uh, the last center joining stitch. So that last joining stitch is that one right there, if you can see it, I hope you can. That's the one. That's just that one. So work five triple crochets there. So one, two, This is where we're going to finish the third row, which is giving us two full Catherine wheel stitches. Let me focus on them better. I think that's better. So, two full Catherine wheel stitches, those two, and two half of the Catherine wheel stitch one on one side and one on the other side. I'm going to show you my other example right now because we're going to finish uh, this row and we're going to move in to changing the color again. And as you can see this is what we are going to work next. So the next two rows we are going to work three full Catherine wheel stitches and then the next rows are just going to be a repeat of These two these four. I mean there are four rows. So grab your scissors Honey, I can't really find mine right now Let me open it And Just cut your yarn somewhere And now just wrap the yarn over, pull through and stick. So I grabbed uh, my first uh, choice of color, the green one, and I'm going to make a slip knot. One second. And attach it to my crochet hook. And now we're going to attach the new color right there on top of the last triple crochet. So attach the new color with a slip stitch. Insert your hook into that chain, wrap the yarn over 
and pull through the triple crochet and through the slip knot and we've just attached the new collar and again I have these two strands and I don't know what usually to do. I, I don't really know what to do about them so I'm just hiding them while I work along we have to make a single crochet in that same stitch right there but being careful again to hide these two little bits so just put your hook under them and then insert the hook into on top of that triple crochet wrap the yarn over pull that one and finish the single crochet and maybe pull the two strands just a little bit and now chain five one two three four and five and now we're doing half of uh, the Catherine wheel the same way we we've done it here on the second row so nine triple crochets in the nine in the next nine stitches leaving the last loop of the triple crochet on the hook so let's just do that insert your hook in the next stitch work one triple crochet and I'm also trying to hide those two little bits that's two That's the third one right there. Four and the fifth one, as you remember, I hope from the second row, the fifth one is always worked in the single crochet stitch. So I know it's just a little bit messy but I hope you can see it, that's the one I'm talking about. So that's where we are always going to work our fifth triple crochet of the first half of the Catherine wheel. So that's the fifth one. We have six loops on the hook so far, so four more to go. Six. I'm going to zoom out so you can have a better view of the whole thing. Now I can just leave these two alone and work normally from now on without having to hide them anymore. They are hidden enough, I think. So work the seventh triple crochet. And nine. So we've worked our nine triple crochets now just to be sure and on the safe side you can count them one two three four five six seven eight nine so there should be one two four six eight and ten so wrap the yarn over your hook and pull it through all those ten loops and chain one to secure and we're working two three four five chains working one single crochet in the next stitch we're going to do the same thing now so chain five work nine triple crochet together one single crochet in the fifth one and I'm going to do that off camera and leave you to practice. So I'm going to see you guys in just a minute.
So I'm finishing off the last half of the uh, Catherine wheel on uh, on the fourth row. So I have nine loops on my hook, ten loops. I'm sorry. After nine uh, triple crochets. So we're going to wrap the yarn over the hook if I can manage to do that. I'm just not used to the this crochet hook and pull the yarn through all nine. Chain one to secure it. And we're finishing this row, working two, three, four and five chains. And then we are going to work one single crochet and just pay a little bit of attention here when you're working your project. It can get tricky. So that's the last stitch, the chain from previous row. And this is where we have to work our single crochet in that, on top of that chain. So insert your hook. It was, I guess it was just a little bit too tight here on my side. Okay, and now insert your hook. Uh, wrap the yarn over. Okay. And just finish the single crochet. And this has completed the fourth row of uh, the Catherine wheel. And in the next row we're going to finish the other halves of the Catherine wheels. To finish off this row first, just chain one right there and turn. We are now starting the fifth row. We just chained one to turn and this is the last single crochet from the previous row and this is where we have to work one single crochet. So work that single crochet like that and in this uh, joining chain, center joining chain, whatever is it called, I'm really not sure how this chain is called, but in that one we have uh, we have to work nine triple crochets to to complete the um, the Catherine wheel exactly like we did here. It's going to look the same. So let's do just that. So insert your hook in that chain. work one triple crochet. I hope you you have you already got the hang of it and uh, you don't need me to slow down or something but uh, if you do feel like I'm moving too fast or too slow or something like that please uh, tell me. I would really do appreciate constructive uh, criticism and uh, I want to make my tutorials better. So that's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and one more, but just in case I'm going to count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We're finishing the first Catherine wheel on the fourth and fifth row by working one single crochet in the next single crochet, that's the one. So work one single crochet there. And 
In this chain, we're going to work nine triple crochets, just like we did here. And then one single crochet here to finish the second Catherine wheel stitch, Catherine wheel. And then nine triple crochets here. And I'm going to meet you guys right here at the end. So go on and work nine triple crochets here, one single crochets and nine triple crochets right there, just like we did at the beginning of the row. And see you in a minute or something like that. So I'm at the end of the row, the fifth row now. As you can see, I've done my nine triple crochets here, single crochet there and nine triple crochets right there. So what we have to do now is work one single crochet in the single crochet we've done on row four. If you remember, see that one right there, that's one single crochet. So insert your hook under those two loops, wrap the yarn over your hook, maybe you're a lot luckier than I am, and finish the single crochet. Now take your knife, knife, oh my god, did I just see that? Uh, take your scissors and cut the yarn somewhere where you want it. And wrap the yarn over, pull through and secure it. And we've just completed two rows with uh, three full Catherine wheels. Next row is a repeat of the second row and then the next row is a repeat of uh, the third row and then fourth and fifth. So to complete whatever project you're working on you have to repeat uh, rows two, 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 three, four, five, two, five. I have completed three more uh, rows of camera. These are the ones, two and three. And as I have been saying uh, before, these two, that one and this one are a repeat of the second and third row. So keep that in mind when you're learning. And this one right here, the last row I completed, is a repeat of the fourth row. And this is how it looks. What I like to do is work a knot. Tie the two of them together so they would be more secure like this. And now Take your scissors and just cut them. And grab your project and loosen it up a little bit. If your uh, stitches are uh, tighter than this, then you really won't, uh, won't see the color, the colors, those strands in your project. I usually prefer leaving leaving the Catherine wheel like this, with this uh, in, instead of adding another row and make it round and another one here. I like I like the Catherine wheel to be squarish. But if you want uh, to see what you will need to do, I'll uh, to, to make rounds here to make another. Another uh, set of Catherine wheels, full Catherine wheels. I'm going to make a, a second uh, tutorial, a shorter, much, much shorter one, in which I'm going to explain you what to do and maybe even uh, how to add 
an edge on the side so this one would look uh, more even or something like that because you can see it's a little bit uh, messy well thank you for watching uh, my video i hope it was of uh, some help to you and uh, i'm going to see you guys uh, another time for another tutorial and happy crocheting bye